Oh, what's up, besties? It's your girl T, and I'm back with another message. Hey, Stink. Now, y'all, my hands over here look like somebody brought a hand, so mind y'all be any friend, okay? I love you, though. <laughs> yeah, I took my nails out. They hurt, too. I took the other nails out and put on some press on. The other press on was all type of crazy. I was trying to eat crab legs and stuff like that, girl. And my hand been hurting like a mug. So, mm-mm. I be loving me a press song because I can pop nails out when I feel like because sometimes I get tired of wearing nails. I know, this is crazy, right? I don't even like wearing jewelry, so if I get married, y'all, what am I going to do about a wedding ring? I don't like st stuff on my hand too long. It irritates me. <laughs> okay, that why I don't even watch, wear my watch and stuff like that. I don't know. So let's get into it. Get in here, girl, in here. Okay, Capricorn, what I'm feeling? Y'all know the snooze song, right? And it's crazy that I end up finding this on YouTube, too. You know, just to give it some background energy. Capricorn, I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I really feel like y'all got somebody that's deeply in love with y'all. But I feel like both of y'all can either be in, uh, in some type of boot camp. Okay? Because I feel like both of y'all can be learning how to tame this energy. And I really feel like they're with y'all. Okay? But you do got somebody that could be, like, low-key obsessed with you watching you and stuff like that because somebody do want to give you an offer you see how mesmerized she is i'm mesmerized by your fancy eyes yeah and if i sound like um i sound like old is in blue now it's because it's not too long ago woke up yeah i slept the whole day away so um let's see so I feel like both of y'all in boot camp. I ain't gonna lie where my definition of boot camp, and this could be YouTube Capricorn, because I really feel like spirit is working on you as well. Okay, where you been um you've been going down a road. Uh, spirit could be teaching you patience. Cause it do say something about open your heart, cause y'all might be dealing with a twin, a mirror and soul. Cause like both of y'all getting the same type of like y'all in boot camp together, like. Like, both of y'all in boot camp, both of y'all is transforming, okay, to become more of a loving person, which you can already be a loving person more than this ego. But I feel like both of y'all could have moved through ego a little too much once upon a time, okay, where you might have ego problems and this person might have ego problems. And some of y'all hearts might be a little more open than this person right now. But it's like some of y'all, like, spirit can be working on both of y'all hearts, okay? Both of y'all hearts could have been hurt once upon a time. You could have dealt with a lot of hardship. And spirit trying to turn that pain into loving. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, someone's still trying to figure themselves out. I feel like this is both of y'all. We y'all birth and learning. That I am not I am not what I went through. I am not the, the, the avatar that I built up when I was, uh, I built and created while I was going through hardships and I was in survival mode where I'm here, back against the wall, I can't trust nobody, yeah. Like, you're not that person, okay? You're just the person who, she, you really the war, you came out the war, who survived the war, because a lot of people don't survive the war, friend. Okay, look, I said wedding rings. Okay, I said union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love. Yeah. Everlasting promise. You see what I'm saying? Somebody could be a water sign or there could be a lot of emotions uh, brewing between the both of y'all. You got the Cancer, the Scorpio, and the Pisces. Okay, so yeah, I feel like both of y'all are learning how to love on yourself. Okay? You learning how to love on yourself, learning to put yourself first, and this might be a bigger screen because somebody might be a, like to be running for everybody else. Somebody run for other people to distract themselves from themselves as well. Because it's, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing uh, Broody is in the eyes of the beholder. It's something about, even it's going to do with that. But it's something about, you know, maybe I didn't feel worthy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I feel like other people were, were worth saving more than yourself. And then spirit just like, hold up, Capricorn. Or Capricorn person. Or whoever this person is connected to Capricorn. You matter. Okay? So, I don't know, like. Everybody else might not see you suffering, but I know you suffering. Because if don't nobody know his, if don't nobody know their children, pay attention to their children more than anything, it's God. He going to pay attention to their children. 
And some, and it's good that he he do that because if it wasn't for God paying attention to his children, we would be down rabbit holes. And sometimes we do go down rabbit holes and he come save us. You know what I'm saying? Even though it might feel like he abandoned you or he ain't nobody ain't paying you no attention. Trust me, he do. He, he see him. And some of the times when you fall on your face, when you in this rage, you get stuff that trigger you, it's because God doing it. You get what I'm saying? God doing it. Like, uh, uh-huh, bring my baby back home. You get what I'm saying? Because I don't like how they being treated. I'm really putting them out there in boot camp and in the, in the forest and in, in the jungle for they can realize who they are and to discover their strengths and not their weaknesses because you feel like it's your weaknesses, but it really ain't. Okay? Like, y'all got to learn that, baby, you last a war. You last in a war that many and most wouldn't last in. So it don't matter how many people are laughing at you and throwing stones. But ask them, can they get on your level? And half of the time, it's not. It's easy to laugh outside the club. It's easy to hate outside the club. You can't even get in. So, of course, you're going to talk about the, the club. Oh, the little club, y'all, they lying. We, we go to the cool club anyway. But y'all going to the club, they don't get y'all. Just imagine, Capricorn, you at a club, right? That it get, man, you get in, you pay $20, get in, you get you get two free drinks, and you know what I'm saying? That, or they walk around for the first hour, give me a, or the, you know, for two hours, you know, like half an hour, you get, you know, a, a few little shots for free. You get what I'm saying? Because you paid some money to get in there, and then for some of y'all, like, say if you, you know, I don't know, like, whatever price it was, and they might feed y'all, or you got people up in there that share with one another. Y'all all at the bar, y'all sharing wings and stuff like that. It's like a group thing, like, where it's like a lot of love in that club. You get what I'm saying? Because the person that built the club, it could be either you, or this might inspire you. I'm just saying, for example, y'all, just listen, bear with me. They know, they, they believe in giving back. Maybe this is the way of this person giving back, right? The owner of the club. I, I got shots on me, y'all, to my favorite table. I want to get y'all a little, dis- like, little discounts and little deals, as in, like, the Crunkers table get, you know, free shots on me, free food on me. Just little fun stuff, right? So think about the people who go into the club. No shade, no tea, because that have been in plump. I've been at them, too. You know what I'm saying? I be rocking with them, too. You know what I'm saying? But you go to the club, and you might be used to this type of club. You go to the club, you pay $20, 30 I get in, you don't get a free crumb. Drinks, $15. You see what I'm saying? And, or tw- knocking on it. You see what I'm saying? And, of course, you're going to be a little jelly because you can't get in there. So, of course, you're going to throw shade. All the niggas over here anyway, but the niggas ain't found out about over here. Because it was American honey. You hear me? We got, we got it made. You know, and sometimes we got to realize we can't mess that up for ourselves. Because somebody who on the outside, they can't even get in, somebody who paying $15, you don't know, throw me a little shade, and I do it too, but it's still. But I'm going to go while, 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 I'm, while I'm feeling appreciated there too. You know what I'm saying? They over there worry about all that, you know, the, the owner on you studying them. They want, they want every dollar. They want to chip tip. You get what I'm saying? And um, you don't allow them to mess nothing up for you. When you got it made, as in like your situation, you in a better situation than those that try to make you feel like this. Okay. And I feel like to be honest with you, y'all, both of y'all got, you got somebody that's in the sign equal as you, baby. Both of this could be somebody who want to change the world as well or you want some type of fairness in the world as well. Both of you see how both of them screaming. And she, they back beside each other. I feel like it's you and this person. Where y'all both could have suffered the same stuff. Y'all both could have the same things y'all want to change. Or y'all can, y'all can agree with some stuff, is what I'm saying. Like tired of hardships, tired of people, tired of bogus folks. Want, you know, a change in the world. And both of y'all might be the ones that's trying to do the change in the world. Become the change in the world. To the point that now you enter in boot camp to love on yourself. To put you first, to save you like you save everybody else. I could say ask others for help sometimes. Yeah, you don't have to be overly independent. It don't make you weak for asking others for help. And I know it's more easy said done, yeah. Because the way we grow grow up, we don't look for handouts. You get what I'm saying on my side. Because I learned too that don't nobody owe me shit. It took me when I got older. Because I done been a snobby little snap, like a little brat before. 
Because it would happen when, you know, when spoiled kids, the worst kids. I'm just saying like this. And even if it ain't spoiled, it's like you can be all type of ways of spoil where you get away with too much. You get what I'm saying? And there could have been a lot of reasons of why, you know, I'm just been saying, for example, of why I had to go through a lot in life. And I went through a lot of hardships and a lot of falling on my face due to me. Being that, having that mentality of a brat. You hear me? And I regret that. And one thing about it, baby, I'm going to love my baby on down, my kids on down. But one thing about it, if they need an ass whooping, they're going to get it. And they're going to get it. They're going to get it. Love you now. Give, you, give me some sugar. Give me some. Give me love you. Give me a kiss. Give me a hug. They have to get that ass whooped. And then go set your ass down. I love you, though. We go get some ice cream tomorrow. <laughs> you hear me? Cause it's four kids, the worst kids, and they be have to, they be have to, you be, you know. Cause life ain't easy. So I want to prepare you before anybody do. And I feel like I'm gonna tell you what's funny, y'all. How I just said I would be with my kids. I feel like this how God is with y'all. I love you, but I'm gonna have to whoop your tail a little bit. Cause you got me messed up. You know better. And if you don't know better, you finna know better now. And some of y'all do know better. That's why it don't take you that long to learn lessons. When you take you that long now, it might take you being patient. You might, you know, slow and steady win the race. But I bet you kind of money some of the shit, some of the stuff that you went through, you ain't going to go through it no more because you, you don't learn your damn lesson. You see what I'm saying to you, my friend. Look, I said you have to die a few times before you can really live. What I tell you, you have to follow your face, bust your booty, but and all that a few times before you actually, you know, wake up and smell the coffee, baby. Because one thing about it, two things for sure, life don't owe us nothing. It don't even owe us tomorrow. And once we realize that, we learn to be more in gratitude. And sometimes you have to go through some stuff, lose some stuff, and be through it. You know, like be through some, some stuff. Just to wake up and smell the coffee. Then, hey, this ain't this ain't doing what I thought it's supposed to do. Okay? It was a deep, uh, deep meditation is needed. Remember, today matters too, and always check yourself first. Yeah. So, come into mind. This is going to help you figure out who you are as well. Okay? I feel like a lot of y'all could have allowed the people that were yap, 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 yap. People that was going against you, praying against you, stuff like that. You allowed them to make you become like this person right here. I mean, make you become like that person right there. What life, you know, where you had to always feel like you was at a battlefield. And most of the time it'd be projection because of jealousy. Because you're in a club that they can't get in. You're part of a club that they can't get in. So they're going to want to market as lame. Weird. Losers. And stuff like that, right? And the whole time, no real losers is those who hating outside the club. And, you know, I know them guys here too, but they be in loser energy sometimes. Hating. Haters. What is hating? Hey, anybody who hating on somebody is a loser. You're losing. And it ain't got to be financially. It ain't got to be nothing. They can have it all financially. But the type of mindset and mentality you have is a loser mentality. That you chose jealousy over love. You know what I'm saying? You jealousy over somebody. You jealous of somebody else's success. You jealous of somebody else's life. Yeah, it's not fair. Hey, yo, you might don't got the same treatment right there. But you, you know what I'm saying? If you show more gratitude and you, and you pour more love in the world instead of hate, you, that would become on your path. Because when, whatever we put out in the world, it's going to come back. If we like it or not. Okay, and I feel like um, a lot of y'all, even though you probably don't want to spread hate, or you might have got a little quick temper, or you got some little problems, you still pray, you still spread the light, and spirit wants you to spread light. You know what I'm saying? And not get in defense mode when somebody try to send you hate because it's jealousy, baby. So I feel like I overcoming challenges, being easily triggered and stuff like that. Which it might take time. It could take years. 
You see what I'm saying? It says you're overthinking again and heal yourself first. So it's like something about y'all could be healing some type of projection that was brought on to you at an early age or by others that they do this. You hear me? Like I said, the bottom of the deck, it said everybody else sees your worth. What's, what's blocking you, friend? Laugh at your problems more instead of studying them. Spirit is trying to make you, uh, allow you to enjoy life again. You get what I'm saying? Enjoy life again. Look, it said laugh at your problems. What I told you. And the more instead of studying them so much, like loosen up. Remember that you don't got to be like this. You don't got to be in defense mode so much. Look, someone likes you. What I tell you, you got somebody who got a secret. In, there's a secret in my This also somebody who's trying to figure themselves out. Okay. I'm feeling like somebody got a jealous spirit on them as well, but it's like for they love her, but not towards they love her. Look, take off the mask. You are not what you've been through. You are the person who got through it. You hear me? Life is happening for you and not just to you. Stop. You Look, it's a stop repeating patterns, y'all. You are repeating patterns. Mirror moment, reflection time. And I feel like this is why boot camp is here. Listen to yourself more. Look at that. And it said, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. You getting to know who you are. You getting to learn that you are not this. You are this. And you are that. But some of y'all, I'm hearing like this song. I'm hearing they saying, all my life I had to fight. But I kill them dead before I let them beat me. And you might have that medicine because you got one thing about it. You ain't no sucker. Give you that, Capcom. You have a warrior spirit on you because you are a warrior, baby. And you would have never knew, known that if life would have never gave you the trials and tribulations to show you how strong you are, okay? To get you prepared for anything in life. Especially this union where y'all going to be like this on the outside. I mean, you know, on the outside and the inside. But y'all also gonna know how to not play with one. Y'all ain't gonna play with the world when it comes to this. Y'all gonna stand up for each other. You see what I'm saying? For anybody who doing the gossiping, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So look, it said hurt people, not hurt people. And I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all learning to turn that pain into wisdom. You overcoming battles. That, and you know, projections. That was brought on to you. Don't listen to others. Projection is real. Trying to put fear in your heart. Trying to make you feel like you're unworthy. Being very double standards. Beating you down when they won't want you to beat them down. Gossiping about y'all or you when, you when they know they won't want to be gossiped about. But get what? No worries, Capricorn, because you got help. Calling on my spirit team isn't as hard as I thought. Call on your spirit team more. It's not weak to need help. Because people made you feel like, oh, because you would love it or you were spoiled by God. They're making it like you a loser because of it, because they don't have it. They don't have it. And they could have it if they spend so much time worrying about their own plate and not yours. Okay. Look at that. Let me end it off with this. It said, here is a cup of your love, okay? Pour it into yourself like you pour it into others. Hidden love, self, uh, hidden love, self-love, pure love, and unconditional love. This is what you've been pouring into other people. I told you, I'm, I'm getting somebody that people that say, two people that like to say the world, or it can be you, Capricorn, like to say the world before they even say themselves. This is something matter who are them that lose themselves. By trying to save the world. Some of y'all, you may hate people that bully people. You know how it feels to be made fun of and talked about, projected on. Maybe you the bully slayer. But just remember that's not your job. You 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 slay them just by moving through this. Cause this right here, love, the unconditional love, is the highest frequency. There is. It outweighs hate. It outweighs 
the jealousy and the fear. So, when you feel like, when you think about all the things that them people said or did, think about the love. Think about why they hating. Why they mad. They hating outside the hood. They can't even get in. Okay? So, remember that and know that you got you somebody who think you fine as hell. You making somebody blush. Okay. This could be somebody who could be a little manipulative too. They gotta charm you with words. But I feel like it's because they could be the shot type. Somebody could be a little scared of you. This could give me some bedroom eyes, stuff like that. This might some of them this, this could be you as well too. You and this person, some, one of y'all or both. You know what I'm saying? Can come can be looked at as manipulative and charming. You know what I'm saying? Because the charm that you have is very powerful. Somebody feeling you, baby. I can tell you that much. I ain't feeling you. Hold up. Let me see. Let's see. I guess some love that's been hidden for a while because you had to go to boot camp. This is like giving me, hold on, my bad, y'all. I'm taking a, I'm, I'm being quiet. I'm trying to study. This is somebody who really feel like you are very beautiful. You make somebody shy. They might don't know how to express themselves without being manipulative. That might be how they know how to get around. This is also somebody like to distract they, um, they like, they do charm and manipulate too to cover up something. Maybe they feel like they're not good enough. This could be somebody who dealt with a lot of projection as well. To the point it made them feel low about themselves. Because one thing about it. Well, I told you, they, they inside of a club as well. That people couldn't get in front of. They couldn't get in. So this person had to be in that energy right there all the time. Like, I feel like two defensive people who had to really stand up for themselves. Because they didn't have other people. They stand up to the world. They going against the bullying and the hate. But most of the time that ain't even our job. That's the high power job. So y'all aren't learning this survival mode. So tell me do this. Cause the difference between you and anybody else. You part of a club, they got your back. Your spirit ain't don't play about you. I know we all God's children, but it's some type of special connection that he have with y'all that other people is jealous of. Okay. So, friend, I hope y'all take a resonate. Leave it or not, and I'm going to talk to you later, love bug. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And put in, my, in the comments, I am a child of God. And their jealousy won't stop it. Okay, I am a child of God, and their jealousy won't stop it, will not stop that. Okay, I love you back.